Hello! Thank you for joining me. This is Kim Haskell and I'm back with another video tutorial for Ranger Inc. Today we'll be creating this greeting card using a variety of stenciling, stamping, and hand lettering techniques. Let's get started. For our background design, I'm using the letter it A2 sized black cardstock and I've trimmed that lengthwise to get a piece that's three inches wide. With the remaining strip, I've cut a piece that measures one and a quarter by three and a quarter inches. And as well, you'll want a piece of white cardstock that will be three and a half by one and a half inches. Begin by placing the Tim Holtz floral layering stencil over the background piece of cardstock and secure it in place using the magnets from the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. Now using an ink blending tool, I'm applying Letterit embossing ink over the entire area of the design. I'm using a pouncing motion with the blending tool to make sure I get good ink coverage without disturbing the stencil. Next up, we can remove the magnets and the stencil. And lifting the cardstock panel carefully by its edges, I'm just bringing in some scrap paper. And now we'll do some embossing. I'm using the Ranger Sticky Embossing Powder and sprinkling that over the entire cardstock panel. Then I shake all of the excess powder onto the scrap paper, again being careful to hold the cardstock by the edges so I don't disturb the background design. All of the excess embossing powder goes back in the jar for future use. Next, I'm melting the embossing powder with a heat tool. With the sticky embossing powder, it melts to a clear, shiny finish, as you can see here. To color our background, I'm using Perfect Pearls pigment powders. Um, they can be a little bit messy, so I've brought my scrap paper back in underneath my cardstock. Using a small paintbrush, I'm dipping into the Zinnia Perfect Pearls and applying that to all of the areas of the design that have leaves and stems. Simply dip the paintbrush into the powdered pigments and sweep it onto the design, not worrying about any of the excess pigment at this point. For the flowers, I'm using a combination of Perfect Pearls colors, Poppy, Iris, and Blue Hydrangea. One of my favorite features about Perfect Pearls is that they blend together effortlessly. So you can simply go from one color to another, and as you sweep your brush between the two colors, they blend seamlessly. I continue applying and blending colors to all the florals until the design is complete. For the larger flowers, I like blending two colors together to add a little bit of extra depth and dimension to the flowers. The completed background design has a lot of excess powder that hasn't adhered to the sticky embossing powder. So we want to sweep that away to make the design look nice and clean. I have a couple of techniques for that. First of all, I'll use a fluffy brush and sweep the excess powder onto the scrap paper. This actually does quite a good job of getting rid of a lot of the large chunks of powder, but I always find there's a little bit of residue behind. So my favorite trick is to use a dusting cloth and sweep that over the design 
and it picks up any of those small particles of the perfect pearls that were left over. And now we have our completed shiny pearlescent background with perfectly blended Perfect Pearls colors. To create the sentiment, I'm centering the three and a quarter by one and a quarter piece of black cardstock to the Make Art Station, and then pouncing the anti-static pouch over the top to make sure that it's ready for embossing. I had some excess powder on the cardstock, so I'm just sweeping that away with the fluffy brush. And for our stamps today, I'm using the It's the Little Thing set from Letter It, and I'm using You're the Greatest. I've already adhered those stamps to the Letter It acrylic block, and I'm using my embossing ink pad to then stamp the cardstock. The ruler on the Make Art Station allowed me to make sure everything was centered here. Just as before, I've brought back my scrap paper to do the embossing with, and this time I'm using the embossing powder in white and sprinkling that over the stamp sentiment. Again, tap off any excess embossing powder and return any excess to the container. Because I'm embossing a small piece of paper here, I'm using my paper snips to hold the paper down so that I don't burn my fingers. To add an extra personal touch, I'm using some hand lettering to write the word mom. This card could be used for any number of occasions, so you can certainly choose to write the name of the recipient or a special greeting. But here I'm just using a bouncy sort of loose script style to write the word mom using the letter it embossing pen and then I go back over all of my letters and anywhere that I need a downward stroke I'm actually thickening that line up. This is called faux calligraphy and it gives the lettering the look that it's been made using a calligraphy pen. Using the same technique that I used for the stamp sentiment, now I'm going to be using the white embossing powder over the hand lettered section of the sentiment. Now it's time to assemble our card pieces. I'm using the Letter It double stick tape for this step. And I'm just going to cut a few short pieces and apply them to the back of our sentiment. And then I'm adhering that to our slightly larger piece of white cardstock, making sure to center it. and then run your hand over the sentiment to make sure that it's adhered well. I'm also using the double stick tape on the back of our background. And I'm applying that to a Wendy Vecchi Perfect Cardstock card by centering it on the Make Art Station and then pressing my hand over the cardstock to make sure that it's adhered well. To give our sentiment some extra dimension, I'm using the Letter It Black Adhesive Foam. And applying a couple of small strips to the sentiment cardstock.
Then I secure the sentiment to the front of the card. One final step to add a little bit more dimension is to add some enamel accents in Glacier White. And I'm just applying dots of varying sizes in some of the black space of the background. Once the enamel accents have dried, we have our completed card. Thank you so much for joining me today.